What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are laying siege to the last French city in the game. That's it, our old rival will soon be destroyed. So we have these forces under Andrew Hardy and other various supporting arms to help capture the city. So hopefully we will destroy them and cause their doom. They have two small supporting armies, but I think we should be pretty okay. So let's get on with it we can destroy French rule for good and also create quite a decent front line in northern Italy against the oncoming um, Ottoman forces, which will soon, no doubt, uh, be, <laughs> be on our doorstep. Sorry, I've just... Okay, right. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, there's a letter on my desk. I thought, oh, I better read it before we start looking before I start um, recording, it's just a magazine subscription. So, let's put my artillery up on the high ground. Let's take our infantry, sans, pikes. So they've got quite a strong infantry component, so my howitzers are going to be quite important. I'm going to put my pikes on the right flank with some light infantry because hopefully the light infantry can draw in cavalry and my pikemen can destroy them and then let's combine all of our mounted element on the left flank out is in the center so let's get cracking oh okay their cavalry is split just want to try to get some shrapnel shots off because our Guns are actually in shrapnel shot range. So they're after my pikes. So let's run my pikes to act as a. Ooh! Cavalry push on the left. So I'll use my pikes as a blocker force. You guys drop into square. There we go, my pikes can deal with the enemy there. Well, they can they can make short work of the gendarmerie. And this regiment of horse will soon follow. Let's retarget my artillery. Come on, pikes. Run to go after the sixth, because they're going to use this as an opportunity. Okay, my guns, just get them get them firing. My quick climbing howitzers can focus on the left flank, because my artillery is focusing on the right. Let's pull my pikes back. So let's charge my heavy cavalry in. Let's actually get my general back to safety. So let's get you guys to charge in. You hit that unit of gendarmerie. My other heavy cavalry can deal with their mortars. Not yet in canister range, so let's get, keep, get my pikes really out of the way and use my concentrated artillery fire. Well, they're going to be just out of range for canister shot, but soon... They will be in. There we go. So let's... Lots of artillery fire focusing on this cluster. That's, they're ripe for a quick lime shot, but that's not going to happen. But what will happen is we can start to turn the flank. So this artillery can come and deal with the artillery regiment. Or this. Or th these mortars and the other units okay so you guys blast or oh, blast the regiment étranger because they are actually getting rather close to my line good we've broken them there the artillery's done that infantry unit's done at great cost 
So I could have charged them, charged my pikes in. So there is... Okay, so the enemy... Okay, right, let's actually bring you guys back because the enemy is coming in from the left flank. Focus all your guns on the first regiment. No, they, they're routing very well. Shrapnel shot. Focus on the 8th regiment. Yeah, my Hessian Jaegers are holding on quite well. Could have pulled them back, but they're going to be exceptionally lethal and accurate at such short ranges. They don't even have bayonets. Yeah, those units are broken. So then... So that, that's the mark of a good quick climb shot right there. Let's actually pivot these guys like so. Okay, there's some more troops coming in. So let's bring our lifeguards... Ah, bring my lifeguards over onto this flank. You guys focus fire the general's bodyguard. You guys attack these troops that are trying to turn our flank. Get my pikes down into the trees. You guys actually hit the general's bodyguard. Yeah, you knock out the general's bodyguard. My pikes will advance through the town to attack these infantry units, which should see them off. You guys now will switch to round shot, bombard the militia that's entering the field. My lifeguards should be the death of this general, general's bodyguard unit. Gendarmerie have failed to pursue their targets. There you go, you guys are doing some good work. It's the general's bodyguard. You men charge the regiment Etranger. Hessian Jaegers again are going to be repelling the 40th at extended range while the Marines reload. They've been they've taken some damage, that's for sure. Gendarmerie are going to hit this unit, but again, they're probably not going to last too long. Okay, pull the cavalry back, pull the pikes back, because that unit of militia is now starting to get a bit close. So you guys, shrapnel shot, blast that unit of militia. Actually, you guys might Round shot, blast the carabiner, you guys hit the militia unit there, you guys hit that militia unit. You guys hop out of square, so what have they got? Gendarmerie, Etranger, put line there retreating. How's your ammo situation doing? Yeah, the second light foot are doing pretty well. spread them out. So they're going to be taking volley fire from my marines as well. First regiment might escape most of it, so I'm tempted to get you guys to actually focus on the first. Who's left? Regiment Etranger over there. So let's get a unit of artillery. Let's focus fire them. We've got some more line infantry coming in. Okay, all my artillery round shot. Hit the carabiner. My pikes should be able to deal with the militia. So let's get them running. Halt my light infantry. Get them to charge down the second. Oh, there they go, they're broken. A round shot's going off. It should be doing some good work at this unit of carabiner. Yep, some good shots on target. Using my cavalry to hit the militia on the in the flank. Let's push some infantry around. Start to face down the new enemies. We'll keep some facing 
facing down that carabiner unit. Ah, oh, nuts. Round shots. Them. I didn't kill too many of my own men. It was a bit of an aborted quick climb, really. So let's take my Swiss pikes and get them just to advance over the defences. My cavalry can advance to the f over to the flank. 13th Regiment has been routed. So we will push up. These men will push up. Now the 13th have come back, so they will be charged down by the 110th. They have no bayonets, so it should be a fairly simple affair. To be honest, I'll make sure. Oh, you got sucked up, sucked in trying to fight those, those chaps. So all my guns should be engaging. That carabiner at range. First wave of British troops have crashed into the Regiment Etrogé. It says they're winning, but in the fullness of time, their lack of bayonets will will count against them. Yep, the cowards are wavering. Soon they will fall. You men halt. I mean, I'll trigger pike wall, but I don't think they'll do it in time. <laughs> Just attack the carabiner. Yeah. Come on. Hit the carabiner unit card. Keep on killing them. Take them down. But I do believe that is everyone. 34th have been routed. Yeah, there we go. Decisive victory. That's the word we want to see. But we are now at the... Yep, there goes the French. They wander off into the hills and then they disappear. Because France is no more. So long, France. So let's repair the military governor's encampment and let's replenish as many men as we can. We can just about squeeze it in. That's great. Good, so that's our new front line. If the Ottomans attempt to fight us, let's actually check. So the Ottomans are... Well, to be honest, the Ottomans like us more than the Prussians. Question is, who would the Ottomans join? Us or the Prussians? Because we could... I mean, over in the east, Prussia is incredibly dangerous because there's massive concentration of forces, but we actually have an overwhelming superiority on the western front so we've got one army well you actually take position on the bridge to prevent them from crossing over because you've got stuttgart right there hanover that's right for the taking berlin has got some troops to defend it but we have three armies right here mm, but i do want to keep building up i want to build kevin mcdowell into a proper good army as well and i want to build some but on my navy but what i also want to do is demolish the government chambers in Montreal. You guys might think I'm crazy, but Britain has some pretty interesting units that you can recruit in Britain and um, the Americas from the Units of the Americas DLC. So I think it would be worthwhile actually to move you as well into Michigan. Good. So Montreal, we can recruit special units from Albany. We can recruit special units from and Louisiana, which we already have done because we've already got two units of Queens Rangers on their way to join a force in the north and you can only get queen's rangers from having a military governor's barracks or a military building well you know you get on the military track for government the government building you can get queen's rangers um yeah late game tax got a long way to go i think that's pretty much everything see these guys are which i might take you guys sell you out of your port Genoa is... Yeah, they've only got an enemy. They're at war with the Ottomans, but obviously we want to take this island. So let's... I might call pressure in, actually, to see if they join us. I was wondering if I could use it as an opportunity for them to break their alliance. So you're going to be here, ready to fight off these Genoese and capture Corsica. 
that puts an army right in their vulnerable position to, um, well, a dangerous position for the Ottomans. We can take Naples and Rome in future. But yeah, right now I've got no money, so let's hit end turn. Yeah, priests are continuing to wander. Troops can do, can, continuing to meet their armies. So even though we aren't actually allied or we have no diplomatic ties with the 13 colonies, we still have access to their territory. That's why recruited troops are going through to um, join to join up with um, their recruited armies from the well, well, they're running through 13 colonies territory, because even though we're not allies or any anymore, we still have a treaty that gives us access to their lands. Because that has not been rescinded. So Persia's on the move. Where are you all going? Yep. Persia is. Persia's on the move, so they've still got their random hole out in Finland. Which is pretty neat. Um, I would like to... Uh, plus I'd like to take it, but there we go. Denmark's just taking it. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to... I mean, this is probably going to be it as far as the fight is concerned. Um, because look at their army. It's just depleted. Let's do it. So we've got this army under... Oh, I can't remember who now. But it's got a lot of Highlander units and it's obviously got some beloved riflemen. Some green jackets in there. And some Irish Rangers. So let's... We'll have a look at those. We've also got some Highland Grenadier units. They're also in position. So let's have a look. So... We've got some Horse Guards. Let's compare those to the Life Guards. So the Life Guards... Obviously they've got red with dark blue... You know, chest... The chest section of the tunic is dark blue with yellow facings. The horse guards are blue, like they're... There they are, they're really accurate to their thumbnail. But they're pretty good. And looks like... They are actually sturdier in combat than my lifeguards, except that their defense is a bit lower. But they've got more attack, more charge range, and higher morale. Interesting. So let's get some Scottish line and some black watch. So here's the Scottish line, which you get with the additional units mod. And then here are the Black Watch. And it's interesting, actually, they are different units. And if anything, the Scottish line is actually slightly more detailed than the Black Watch, which is what you get within the game. And it's But it's a foot guard unit compared to a regiment of foot unit, so they are, they're in less reduced numbers, but they are actually better in both range and melee. Quite considerably, actually. Accuracy 50, just for a raw unit of Black Watch. So you've also got some Connaught Rangers and some Green Jackets. The Green Jackets looking absolutely splendid. Very splendid indeed. Not sure about this guy. You might uh, kind of ruin the camouflage effect somewhat. They've also got the Irish Rifles, the Connaught Rangers, and... I mean, clearly these guys are looking much more dapper. And uh, these guys are wearing a lot more blue than I'd imagined. And then we've finally got the Highland Grenadiers, which look fantastic. So they've got these, they've got the uh, the headgear of the Grenadiers, and they are clearly different. So let's actually, oh there we go. So the next to a, so next to a Scottish Line Infantry unit as well. This is a unit you get from the additional units mod, I believe. But I really like how detailed they are, and clearly how separate they are. They've not just taken one Scottish unit and just changed the colours and gone, yeah, now it's a different unit. Nah, no, that's really cool. It looks like there actually is a bit of variation between a red waistcoat and a cream waistcoat. Sporans are different as well. Some guys have got one, some guys haven't. They've got separate pouches. I like that. Right, so here's the battlefield. So the force we've got against, but that we're currently facing, isn't the big one. The big one, the garrison, is coming in from somewhere else. So I'm going to put some line infantry units flanked with the Black Watch to face the known enemy vector. Let's put a gun team up here as well. To be honest, I might just put two. There we go. Good, and we've got put some riflemen on the flank. But these guys... Oh, we haven't looked at my marines, so... These are marines with a knock volley gun, which they're clearly early war marines. But instead of muskets, they've got the model for what looks like the some, um, hand mortars, like the cup that you'd put a grenade in, rather than a seven-barrel volley gun. 
but still, they are fairly decent melee infantry with some short-range firepower, which could be useful. But we're going to keep them, the Grenadiers, two units of um, Scottish line, plus the Irish rifles, in reserve. So let's not clump all our heavy cavalry together. And then our howitzers... I mean, howitzers are 360 degrees anyway, so just let them limber up. Just have them ready to fire, keep my guns ready. And then let's go. Aha! Let's take everyone except my knock volley gunners. Form a... Form a line for battle. Knock volley gunners, get them in. Irish rifles out on the flank. So look at so look. This is a fantastic example. The Black Watch can shoot out to here with their range of 110. Green jackets, 170. Accuracy 70. So let's trundle this cavalry up. So my rover want to go get an excellent volley off. Get them to waver off the bat. Chase them down a bit with my cavalry. Nah, fall back. I mean, my, I'm not really using my riflemen as skirmishers. So we've got one. Uh, terrain's a bit lumpy to be useful that way. Let's also take a unit of lifeguards back here as well. Quick climbing howitzers are all focusing on the same all units. Could should really be shrapnel shotting. So over on this flank, they've handily charged into my inventory right away. No oh no, my Irish rifles hit the general's bodyguard, get the Connet Rangers out of there. You guys hit the general's bodyguard. You guys form a square because they're just there hunting the Connaught Rangers as well. So my green jackets are reloading so they can hopefully pour a volley into the militia conscripts. I want to actually retreat, retreat them back a bit. Get my regiment of horse in to attack this last conscript unit because these guys are done so let's form no nah, it's too big form a new line my regiment of horse can deal with the routing enemy and my horse guards engage the provincial cavalry here you guys fall back don't want to lose some good cavalrymen to potentially easy kills let's get my my heart just actually attack ground. Okay, so you guys hold fire. Okay, let's pivot the line. Let's get you involved. Let's get my Irish rifles to continue to skirmish against the enemy although it looks like they're going down um, 7th regiment still eh, there they go okay, keep attacking them with my regiment of horse just to make sure they do die Okay, so now this is where the knock volley guns aren't quite as useful. Because they can't actually shoot. You men cease fire. Lifeguards charge in. Horse guards. Engage the 11th regiment. Okay, 
There we go, check. Ooh, actually, they've got quite good range of their howitzers. Okay, you guys are actually barely done. There are still militia units out there, but that will be up, up to my... My rifles, who are still... With light infantry behaviour, they do spread out, but they also keep firing even when the enemy is no longer in range. You men fire at will. You guys continue to attack the conscripts. Let's get my cavalry back. You guys just halt now and open fire. So my Irish rifles currently haven't got any kills. So hopefully they can get some some kills before my regiment of horse come in and annihilate them. I might even make them waver. Hey, they're, they're firing like infantry are. So we still have... Okay, right. You men fall back. Let's create a new line. Hmm, this militia unit of conscripts is actually charging. Big mistake, that's why my conscripts are. When my marines have reloaded, we'll advance up for some more short range fire. To be honest, we've advanced so close. Huzzah! Take them out. They're all just pretty damaged conscripts. Falling back on pretty much every front. They're done for. New man cease fire. Is that unit of militia still hanging around? Nope, they've fallen. There they go. Oh no, there's one last unit of militia conscripts. Although, by the looks of it, they will not be around for long. No, nope, there they go. Bad luck. Still, that's them annihilated. Let's continue this for a little bit, because we've got some cavalry in a sort of good position. To take advantage of this. My general's not in such a good position. You guys are continuing to attack the militia conscripts. God, were you guys shooting into the back of that combat? Gotta be really careful with you guys. Very well, let's put this up, speed this up a notch. Stop my howitzers from firing, that's for darn sure. Because this will be the end of Genoa. We're not going to be fighting another battle against their troops because they're... This is it. They've not got. They've not got a lot of debt to uh, to absorb or, or to create much of a, a force to actually challenge us. Especially once all these conscripts die, they might. We may even see an emergency peace, but uh, peace demand from them as a result of this action. Yeah, there we go. Another good victory for us. So. Yeah, we lost 200 men, they lost nearly 2,000. And they've really not got... <laughs> they are not capable of mounting a defence, so... The capture of Genoa is going to be a auto-resolve. The Barbary States are going after my 5th rate, so let's see how well he does. Eh. 
still alive. <laughs> it's not so bad. We might not be able to make it back to a safe port, but we are actually going to get some good intel on the Eastern Mediterranean and the Black Sea area. So, 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 so. Eastern Med. Francis Sullivan. Eh, you can't make it back to Tunis, but you can make it back to our original home port. So you will advance. The Take the city. Because we fought the previous battle, there's no... You know, it would, it would just be... <laughs> There's no need. So let's replenish let's replenish our troops. Let's upgrade the roads. Why did you get stuck there? So the army the the army that took Tunis is still replenishing. Let's upgrade the military buildings there. We probably want to go to northern Italy and say, right, let's build some fortifications. I'm assuming war is not going to be immediate, but it is gonna it is coming. So you've got some regiment of horse and a clansman unit recruited. He's a troops of Irish volunteer infantry, isn't They're not great, but I should really get some Irish volunteers just to mix things up a bit. Um, fleet destroyed. Well, that's a bit of a bit of exaggeration. It was a single sloop. Let's build a steam-powered cloth mill. Let's take one of these Dragoon units down to here to garrison the port. While we build a sloop to replace them. Let's upgrade Calais to a commercial basin. Let's upgrade you to a steam-powered cloth mill. Let's add two more infantry units to Gibraltar. good industries to upgrade. I'm reluctant to upgrade too close to the front. Oh, lots of steam engine factories have been built which is great. I can repair these buildings. Some really good upgrades. Okay, so here we've got a light galley who's not really doing anything. Come down to Mallorca to garrison it. Which means that our home fleet could probably stand to have raw sovereign. Then this fleet here is probably going to get two seconds and two thirds. And then this fleet here is going to start building uh, privateer. Oh, no, not carronade frigates. Privateers, because you want to start going out to the trade zones a bit more. You're, you've got it's a handful of ships not really doing anything but we will we'll put them to use in due course let's build some colonial line in Tunis just in case and let's hop over to the Americas we don't need to worry about Cuba not Cuba Mexico City let's do a bit of upgrading but we also want to take So who's nearby for you? Infantry, infantry, two Queen's Rangers, and you've also got two artillery pieces working their way up to you. So let's get some howitzers and some colonial light -like cavalry, I think. Then in Boston, we might want to actually start working up some more troops and so that when when this so this army is going to attack elton hutton which will hopefully draw in the garrison here at albany but it will hopefully also draw in gerald cornwallis but if not i want to have an army around here ready to stop them from coming in and raiding all my stuff so then at montreal let's build a magistrate good okay could trade with greece and denmark but they really hate us Denmark particularly. So let's hit enter. Let's allow my recruitment to continue. Yeah, Prussia's just spoiling for a fight. So the Ottomans 
want us to have an alliance again, which I don't want. And they want us to give up Morocco for Serbia. And they give us two technologies. No. Casting aside the Republic is an insult. Come on, then. Well, don't tell me you're going to do... Okay, I might actually cancel military access. I really don't like what they're doing. I really don't like that. Because if they get behind our lines, we are in a bit of a pickle. And that's going to really upset them. That we're going to... We've given not we've t taken away their right to march through our lands. But I think it's a... I think it's the right choice. So, yeah, the Barbary State's Navy is up to no good. So, our spy is, in, is, is, is doing some sneaky stuff. I may as well upgrade you to a global trading company just to keep the upgrades rolling. But it's quite expensive to do that, so don't do too many upgrades like that. Let's upgrade Utamata Roads. Let's get an industrial silver mining complex. Okay, George has got a government chamber, so they're ready to jump onto Charleston. Just keep on upgrading. Good, so now I've got a four. Oh, okay, that's my Eugene Denman. So you might have already got one of you. One of that portrait. So we're going to get two Queen's Rangers. I'm going to get two units of Hesse Castle Grenadiers. I'm also going to get the 16th. 16th Light Dragoons. Gives us three of them, so I might actually start to try and... Okay, right, let's get an experienced horse unit over to join this army already, and you can be supported by a unit of 16th Light Dragoons. It's going to take some time. Well, that's pretty neat. Let's upgrade these buildings as well to help, imp to help improve recruitment capability. Let's upgrade some ports and government buildings to the north. Show, let them know they are not forgotten. Steam engine factory. Weaver's cottage. Okay, these two ports down here can both become global trading companies. So great you. I mean, you've got a spy on there, but that's not incredibly useful to us now. Thomas Matthews. So, trade route, trade routes. So what's the best resource? The best resource is still ivory. I don't think there's much room we can squeeze out of ivory. I mean, we could do with some boosting these ships, these trade fleets a bit. And the Straits of Madagascar only have the Barbary states anyway. Greece, the Ottomans, 13 colonies in Denmark. Well, that's not... Okay. So you, good sir, my Caribbean squadron, you are going to go over to East Africa because we are going to be soon at war with the 13 colonies anyway. Bomb catch. Privateers. You recruit a fifth rate. Soon war it will be upon them whether they want it or not. See, all my spies are doing tremendously well. So you're still converting. Yours, those are 100% converted. Go to Upper Louisiana. Um, you're converting Detroit pretty well. You don't need to be there anymore to offset the... To offset the uh, the French uh, minister person. So let's get you actually down to get down to Texas. You'll do some converting along the way anyway, because Montreal's yeah 100% Protestant. 
Okay, good. Again, late game text. Got a long way to go. So let's hit end turn again. We are just building up for the eventual war against the 13 colonies. It's funny, right? Some of our units are being recruited all the way down in Louisiana. So they're demanding France for Dagestan and technologies. No, I meant to get away. The oh, no, I meant to give away their... Okay. Counter offer. I give you none of those things and I cancel your military access. <laughs> I mean, I think I've only just stopped. I'm not sure if I've actually stopped theirs. I think I, might have, I maybe might have stopped my guys from marching through their land. Go on, Ottomans. Start something. Let's see who Prussia likes most. Okay, they're pushing against the Russians. That is a concern. Now might be the time to attack the Russians again with my armies in the east. So I'm not caught completely on the hop. That's a futile gesture. You've pushed away a smaller army and left your city exposed. And now you've been pushed out of it. Nice one. Nice one, Russia. Not the best strategy. It said all hands on deck, but I'm not sure I wasn't involved. Denmark's gone back to Finland. Greece is doing something. Barbary states are up to no good. Eh. <laughs> Don't worry about them. So... The Americas up here at Montreal. Let's get a governor's residence. So then let's see. Look for any buildings that aren't top tier. Lots of them will be. But just look for as many that aren't. Because right now we are. We're making crazy money. Steam engine factory, Grand Opera House. Yeah, I can't really upgrade anymore. Lots of steam engine factories, ordnance board in Paris. Let's make that an engineer school. We upgraded the magist magistrate in Montreal. Let's upgrade this. We can take sloop over to this port. We can then take the dragoons out back to Turin. There we go, we've booted them back out of our territory. There you go, the army here is now at full strength, which means they'll be, or both these armies will be ready to land and hit Rome and Naples to bring the war, bring the war to Ottoman shores if they want to get up to no good. Okay, so we're getting two Irish volunteers. You can get two Marines, two Coldstream Guard. So we've got nine spaces. That's a lot of. Okay, it's a lot of elite infantry. Let's get some regular. Some pikes would be handy as well, but no, let's get some. There we go. And then let's go to Kevin McDowell. No, sorry. Let's go to Horse Guards. Let's recruit another general. Oliver Charlton. Immediately. More orders. You, good sir, can also have some... have an army be recruited. Yeah. <laughs> We're hitting the recruitment caps on lots of these places. Lots of the cities that we can just recruit stuff we can no longer no longer can recruit people from just because the recruitment queue is full get two Irish volunteers there don't want sharpshooters, not while we can get riflemen, well, in theory we can get riflemen, horse grenadier guards so let's get rid of a royal cuirassier guard let's get a horse grenadier guard let's top that up with a green jacket unit, there we go we're very much scraping the barrel there 
I mean, most of them are going to be recruited in London. So let's give them some more time. So let's add... Make some more upgrades. Okay, so up here... More mercenaries. Two units of guns. Another unit of infantry. Two units of cavalry. Okay, then you guys will be done. So, we've got two howitzers, four howitzers on the way up. Eh. No, you're kind of useless now. Let's march you up to here as a bit of a reserve. So when they've moved up, we'll be ready. Here we've got some good units being recruited. Let's get two units of artillery and then get another unit of two units of infantry. Upgrade the farms to help sustain this rate of growth. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fairly low down on the fairly low down on the um, production side. So I'm pretty sure they're going to grab. It's Russian. They're going to grab Russian territory, so we may as well go for it. They're allied with, well, they're allied with Denmark. Okay, I don't want to push on Denmark at the same time. Give you a general. Edwin Charlton. Let's give you two heavy cavalry and a hussar unit. Then you want a twelve pounder unit, and you can deal with you could do do with some howitzers when you're ready. And here at Moscow, okay, two lead infantry. So let's get two units of sharpshooters. We've got six spaces, so let's go for. Four units of regular line. Let's get a unit of guards and let's get a unit of Swiss pikes. Sweet. Because they're going to come at us, sure as anything. So I need to hold here because there's a passage through. Oh, there's lots of passages to get to these forts and lands here. We're doing a good enough job there, just watching. Trait gain, Zafia Coulson, no sense of shame. The army ministers are fairly good. I mean, you would be great if I could specifically get you into America, but let's try it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we're still making some serious cash, so we're not. it's not a massive problem that I've just got a really crappy minister in there. That's right, Prussia. Abandon your front line. So we are weak in the east, but we are very strong in the west. Or relatively strong in the west. No. They demand me give them Moscow. No. That's right. Move your troops. Go fight the Russians. Actually, no, don't go fight the Russians. Chokaska's been taken by the Ottomans. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to be... need to keep churning men out of Moscow. Because I would like to try and grab the Russian territories, but I don't want to be at war with Denmark to do it, although I think I don't really have a choice. So maybe the army that's currently being recruited in England may march, may sail to Iceland to secure their loyalty. Hey, they took it back. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 13 colonies troops are still on the march.
but I, I am content to let them do what they need to do while I secure territorial dominance in the Americas. Fleet arrives. Thomas Matthews, right. So sail up here. Clear out that small Barbary States fleet. Jebek. Take the trade zone, which is not, not going to pay for itself, but that's okay. So upgrade the theatre. Again, do lots of industry upgrades. I mean, a bunch of these are going to get raided, but I really need... I really need to expand my military strength because we are squaring up to the to a future uh first world war which is where it's just me so you're still building yeah boston is going to soon to be fully upgraded Just keep on. <laughs> I seem a bit mad how I'm just hopping around like this, but... You know, it's just hopping down, finding the next thing that's not been upgraded. Something that's just been built. Then I know it's ready to be upgraded immediately. And then just hopping over to it and upgrading it. And then trying to pick up ones they've missed on the, along the way. Uh, yeah, tune is... Need some serious upgrades. Because you've got some, well, two large armies here. I mean, they're not very good armies. But it does mean that when I leave Tunis, I am going to want the city to be garrisoned. In order to throw them back. And I can push on to Tripoli. I could sail these armies down to hit them now, but I really don't want to. I want to keep them there. The Barbary States are not currently doing anything major to require me to intervene. So let's go over to Moscow. Let's take a lifeguard officer. Ian Stevenson. So let's get Ian Stevenson some men. Let's get two heavy cavalry in Hussar. Let's get some 32 pounder heavy horse artillery and hopefully. Uh, did I, uh, can I, did I, okay, yeah, there we go. There's the 24 pounder horse guard artillery. And then let's get some Swiss grenadiers and a sharpshooter because over here in London obviously we've got a whole bunch of recruitment on the go so let's try to get you another rifle actually not not another rifleman try and get some oh, you've already got a Connaught Ranger they're on the way aren't they Let's get a... Yeah, let's get a sharpshooter unit. There we go. And you have one, two, three, four, six spaces free. Five are being recruited. And one is en route. Cool. Keep upgrading Edinburgh. Because right now Edinburgh is the one that's not being utilised enough. Um, but I think now is the time... Diplomacy, 13 colonies. Declare. Let's see if the Prussians... Oh, the Prussians are already at war, so it doesn't really matter. Call them in. There we go. So Timothy Sutton, march on to Charleston. And let's clear out this 13 colonies army here. Because you want to move up. We want to move up aggressively. We're going to we're going to fight battles from south to north, and make sure that we are securing the territory as quickly as possible. Because I really don't want to have um, 
13 colonies armies breaking out behind my lines. So we've only got four battles to fight in this first wave. There's another army to the north here, north of here. And then there's two actually in the north of the US. So this is actually quite a <laughs> quite an early army. So we're going to form our infantry on one division to push around the flank, or to push the left flank. We've got a unit of four, a division of four, four um, regiments that's going to push through the centre. Three, they're going to push around the right. Split the cavalry. I'll tell you who's going to stay to the rear. Ah, it looks like our left hand most position is going to be the one that gets the most action. I mean, I know this is really aggressive, but let's put those guys out on the flank. We'll put these guys on the right flank to run, because they're the ones that have to make the most distance. Let's garrison militia. Okay, let's get my gunners to engage. Let's just try to get them to engage the colonial light. See if I can provoke them to charge. Looks like they are sending, well they were sending some men into the town to uh, counter us. They've killed a few colonial line that are now pushing up. Okay, so let's take these four. Run them up to this forward position. These two units push up to about here and you guys push around even more. Oh, this is yeomanry. They're pants. I mean, they're good early game, but, you know, Regiment of Horse is just a nice solid upgrade on the yeomanry. So let's charge Regiment of, Regiment of Militia here. Let's get these Grenadiers in. Against the Colonials. Okay, so our forward position run up. You guys advance. You men advance. The yeomanry is not great. Advance the pikes. You men charge at the back of the militia over here. There we go. Our units are beginning to open fire. This regiment of Hessian line is advancing perilously close. So the 94th. Ah! Get out of the way! Only five men in a point blank volley. How about now? Considerably more. Good stuff. Okay, let's take away the cavalry. Advance you guys up. Careful of these spikes. But we are surrounding the enemy, ready to be destroyed. They will not be able to withstand our volleys. They keep running around in such silly formations. Actually, no, you guys stay out of it. If you guys don't watch out, you're gonna get. There we go. Fire! Handful of shots. 
We are going to charge our square formation, which is nice. Oh no, they aren't. They changed at the last minute, the sneaky bounders. Drop a bunch of my men into square. Artillery's landing in. That's a great shot there. It's the seventh light horse, but let's retarget. Yeomanry get the general's bodyguard. Let's get my general's bodyguard into the action. Let's advance these guys past the uh, past the hut. Okay, no, let's get you guys out of it. Enemy general's fallen. Let's drop these grenadiers into square. Let's get you guys out of square. If you guys don't follow them, run through this gap here because we got a bunch of some hidden irregulars. You men chase them down. The colonial militia at point blank range are doing a bit too much damage. Hit him, cavalry. We've smashed into the irregulars who are being cut down. You guys get out of square, but it looks like the enemy is in full retreat. Get some Hessian line over here. My yeomanry are not built for this sort of sturdy combat. There's a colonial line unit that's actually coming back from routing, which is a bit of a bummer. So, so have you. Yeah, see, they, they can't decide who they want to shoot. Who they want to attack, sorry. Where's my general's bodyguard? No, don't get involved in that fight. My infantry and yeomanry will be, yeoman will be enough to beat the colonial lights. You guys attack some of these routing scallywags. I've got my my pikemen here, my initial pike unit. They're going to storm the 36th regiment, who are not equipped with the defences needed to fight in melee. They've not got a volley off, so they will fall beneath our guys with pointy sticks. General's bodyguard's fallen. There goes the light cavalry. There goes the men routing over there. We're going to continue because I want to get some more. I want to get some, a bit more experience. So the battle is is very much over. It's not a critical requirement because we've taken the city, but I may as well do it to gain a some experience and besides they're going to be routing anyway there we go kill the militia those guys yeah they were spread out well enough they weren't going to to last very long on the field gonna kill one last colonial militiaman and then it's all up to these guys but they're gonna route the edge of the battle is right here there we go Charleston is secured for the mighty British Empire. So let's repair the government building, let's replenish our army. There we go, it's quite a nice territory to secure. Actually, let's not build anything yet. Upgrade the roads, but I want to take Roland Nordell. Hit Jonas Bridgman. We're going to push them back, hopefully up towards Virginia. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of killing our former um, comrades. Cheers, everyone.